Hello everyone, now in this video, I will let you know how to make your own energy meter which will let you know the total energy consumed by your appliances every minute. And not only that, we have a very interesting feature in this project which will let you know the amount consumed in rupees by all your electrical appliances every minute. So you will be able to observe the real-time electricity bill that will be generated every minute on your mobile screen or a laptop maybe. So this is all about the project and let's see how to make it. So for making this project, you'll require all these components. Out of this, the main component is the CT sensor from DF Robot. I will leave the link of this product in the description of this video so you can click on that link and buy it if you want to make this project. Now talking in brief about the working of the sensor then, this sensor works on the theory that a wire carrying alternating current generates a magnetic field around it which is proportional to the current flowing through the wire and vice versa. So what we need to do is we just need to clamp this sensor around the wire carrying alternating current. Now the magnetic field generated around the wire will induce the secondary current inside the built-in transformer of the sensor. Now that induced current has a very small magnitude which is decided by the number of turns in our transformer. But that current is in direct proportion to the current flowing to the main wire. So this is how we are able to measure the current using the CT sensor. In my case, I am using a node MCU board and these kind of boards can recognize variable voltage rather than variable current. So thanks to DF Robot for making this small PCB that has simple circuit based on Ohm's law which can give the variable voltage at the output by taking variable current at the input from CT sensor. So this is a very brief explanation of the sensor. Okay, so moving ahead with our project, we need to connect all these components in this particular manner. Now as to make this project more sturdy, I designed my own PCB for it on easyedia.com and gave its order to JLC PCB directly. Ordering PCBs online made very simple with JLC PCB. You just need to upload the Gerber file and the smart software automatically detects all the parameters. Now just select your favorite PCB color masking and place the order. You will be receiving these amazing PCBs straight at your doorsteps. So try out JLC PCB to make your project look neat and more sturdy. Now one by one I stolted all the components on the PCB. For the sensor, I just stripped down the wires and shouldered the wires directly on the PCB. After that, I stick this PCB from DF robot using the double sided tape on the main PCB. Now after shouldering all the components, our project looks something like this. Neat and solid. Now let's jump to the programming of this project. So this is the code for this project. Now if you just want to use the basic code for the sensor, then it's already provided by DF robots on their website. So you can refer that code for basic programming. But in this video, I will focus on the main project code only. So first of all, you need to have this UB.MQTT MQTT library installed on your system. Moving ahead, here the sensor pin is defined by A0 and the range is defined by 20 which is the maximum capacity of my sensor to measure the current. Then below it, the reference voltage is mentioned as 3.27 volt. Now the reference voltage in case of Arduino boards is 5 volt and in case of ESP 26s and ESP 32 boards is 3.3 volt. But to make the readings way more accurate, I just measured the exact voltage of my Node MCU board which came out to be 3.27 volt precisely. Hence I mentioned here the reference voltage as 3.27. Moving ahead, here we need to define the Wi-Fi credentials of a router and below that we need to mention our UBDOTS token. Now if you are new to UBDOTS, let me guide you on how to configure your UBDOTS account. So first of all go to UBDOTS.com and make an account here. Now click on devices and devices again and click on this create device button. Select blank here, give a device name as node MCU. Now click on create button. So you successfully created your own device. Now go inside this device. Now here we'll add one variable. So click on this add variable. Select raw. Give it a name as current. 
After successfully creating the variable, click on this UV.s logo which will open the home page. Here click on add new widget, select gauge, click on add variable, now go inside node MCU and select this current variable. Now here we need to define the range as 0 to 20 and in the end give it a name as current. This will create a gauge for monitoring the current value. This is all you need to do on the UV dot server. Now we need to enter the token in the code and for that click here and select API credentials. Now click here to copy your account token. Go back to the code and paste that token here. Now this function is used to convert the analog data coming from the sensor into the current value. Moving ahead into the main loop then here I am collecting the current value 60 times with an interval of 1 second and adding all the values in this current value variable. Now to get the rate of current flowing per minute I divided the whole value by 60 which gave me the required data whose unit is ampere minute. Now this value of current flowing every minute is sent to the UBIDOT server by these all functions. So this is all about this code. Now let's just select the right board and code and hit this upload button. After that it's time to install this project. Now here is my main board. Now I need to attach the CT sensor on one of the wire going inside this energy meter. Be aware with the connections. You just need to clamp the sensor on one of the wires that may be light or neutral. Don't clamp both the wires otherwise the sensor won't give proper readings. After clamping the sensor I just stick this project PCB with a double sided tape near my mains board. After that I just plug the CT sensor jack on the PCB. Now let's power up the device and see this project in action. So as you can see we are getting the current values here on the dashboard. Now the last step of our project is to display the amount in rupees and for that we will be using the synthetic variable features of ubidot. So for that you need to go to the ubidot's dashboard and click on this devices and devices again. Now go inside the device which you have just created. Here click on this plus button select synthetic. Now in the synthetic variable you can add multiple variables and do some mathematical calculations here. For example the synthetic variable can be used for converting a degree celsius temperature data to degree fahrenheit value. So in our case we need to convert this current value into rupees and for that we first need to import the current variable from this node mcu device. And now the equation to convert this current into rupees comes like this. In this equation 220 is the voltage value and 4.1 is the amount in rupees per unit. Now these two parameters may be different for different locations and different time period. So change this value accordingly. Now click on this accept button. Here give it a name as amount in rupees. Now this will create another variable which can show the amount consumed by your appliances every minute. Now click on this UBIDOTS logo to go to the dashboard. Here add another gauge widget and select the amount in rupees variable. Set the range as 0 to 10 and give it a name as rupees and click on this create button. Now you can also observe how much amount is being consumed by your appliances every minute. Isn't it cool? Now what I did is I just used my IoT display which I made previously for my studio and modified the code to add these data in it so that I can monitor the energy consumption every minute on it. And not only that I am also adding the amount consumed every minute so that I can come to know how much total amount is being consumed by my appliances every day in my studio. Isn't this super duper amazing? Hit the like button right now if you love this project and the concept. 
Visit Tech ASMR Studio if you want to see this and many other projects live in action. And as always, you can get the free PCBs of my project with every Tech ASMR merchandise order. So ending this video here, subscribe my channel if you want to see more such innovative project tutorials. Other than project tutorials, I also used to make a variety of videos in this magical field of electronics. So just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.